On May 25th, the city of Sylvan Lake came together to honor those who have fought for our country. The day began with a parade of residents and veterans. The community gathered at Veterans Park for a memorial service. John Martin sang the Star Spangled Banner, and Pastor Kevin Chrisman led the group in prayer. Can we bow our heads? Holy Father, we come to you now just thanking you for this day as we come together as a community, Lord, to thank you for your many blessings throughout the years, how you smiled upon this nation and on our community. We thank you for our, our men and women who have served this country throughout the years. We do ask your blessings upon them, upon their families, and upon our nation and all our leaders. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Now I am honored to introduce to you your U.S. Representative from the 14th Cong Congressional District of Michigan, and who's also my Facebook friend. <laughs> Let's uh, give a warm applause and welcome to Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence. Hello, Sylvan Lake. There's a reason why this is called the best little parade in the state of Michigan. This is a wonderful, wonderful gathering of people here today. I want to uh, acknowledge and recognize your mayor, uh, Mr. McIntyre, for, uh, and the city manager, John Martin, who is extremely talented in his voice, and as well as our city council for Sylvan Lake for hosting this event and making sure that today we honor Americans' bravest, um, our military service members who paid the ultimate sacrifice to keep our country free. It is awesome when you think about why we gathered here today. We gathered here in the spirit of being an American. We gathered here today to take the time out to recognize those who gave their lives so that we can have the freedoms that so many times we take for granted. Our ability to rest at night, feeling safe. Our ability to have the protection of our military. Those are things that so often we walk and go about our business without thinking about the sacrifices that were made year after year after year by our military. I just wanted to make sure that today, as we gather here today, that Memorial Day is more than just a free weekend. It's a day for us to pay honor and respect and remembrance of those who gave their lives for our country. As tribute to those who served, Sylvan Lake Mayor Bob Zinko read the names of Sylvan Lake residents that have served our country and Councilmember Mike Zabriskie concluded the service with a tribute to our heroes. It's the times like this that teaches our children so many important values um, to appreciate the freedoms and the liberties that our fallen soldiers have fought to defend. I think our standing here today, and this is a quote from St. Augustine, our standing here today gives witness to the fact that the true purpose of war is ultimately peace and we're standing here today and in, in, uh, surrounded by peace and able to enjoy the things that we have because of the veterans. One common uh, Memorial Day started you know, years ago uh, to uh, pay respect to the veterans, but I think 9-11 kind of changed some things. So we, we also want to keep in our prayers and our thoughts today uh, the military service members, the fallen police officers and firefighters, those that took the oath to protect and serve. And uh, keep them in your thoughts too today, please. From the city of Sylvan Lake, we thank those who have served our country so admirably with dignity and honor. Memorial Day, which was first known as Decoration Day, is a day for commemoration. 
And from the self-proclaimed prettiest little city in Michigan, that's just what they did.